Mr. Neesons, do you have time for 10 questions? I sure do. I'm happy to answer them. All right, first one. What is your current position at CFA? I develop leaders of character here at CFA, but I do that by teaching physics. I'm the upper school physics instructor. What path led you to teaching physics? Well, it all started when I was a kid. I, I guess uh, when I read the book, Chippewa by the Dozen, I was just so excited about science and what it could do and the efficiencies of it and the beauty of it. That really got me started. And then I went to West Point and uh, had the opportunity to uh, uh, delve more into science. I went back to West Point and I found my love. I absolutely love teaching physics. You taught physics at West Point for 23 years. What is one memory you have from, from there that stands out? Can't have one memory. Uh, that experience at West Point is just a tremendous experience, and that is because of the people. Physics is often seen as one of the more difficult subjects. What is your approach to calming students' fears about the coursework? Physics is feared? I cannot believe that. Physics is too much fun. It's an art. It's beauty. Let me just show you some of the things. You know, where else can you hear at Cape Fear Academy uh, be able to fire projectiles? I bring them in, I speed up, and I slow down. Yes, if I hold this tire here, and by the string here and let it go, of course it's going to rotate down. But if I spin it and get it spin going, I do the same thing, it's going to rotate. All right? Why is that? Isn't that cool? But i got to tell you, I've been teaching physics for 23 years. I know where students have problems, and I know how to get them through the problems. We're going to have fun in physics. You retired from the Army this past May. What is, what is one of your best memories from your time serving our country? I gotta tell you, one time I deployed to, uh, early on, it was in 2002, I deployed to uh, Bagram, Afghanistan. And uh, we were the first conventional unit in, uh, in Afghanistan. And all the kids would come up to me and they would ask, you know, for food, for candy, for water. Your heart went out to them. You gave them all that you could. Uh, and then we went out to uh, the operation in Anaconda and we do, uh, defeated the Taliban. But when we got back to Bagram, you know what those same kids were asking us for? They were asking us for pens. That was the first time over 10 years some of the girls were able to go back to school. And same thing with the boys. But that was a great memory. You enjoy playing, coaching, and refereeing ice hockey. Considering Wilmington's warmer climate, do you think you should consider finding a new sport? Maybe paddleboarding. Uh, I'll never find a new sport to replace hockey. I love ice hockey. In fact, here in Wilmington, I'm going to uh, coach a uh, high school level team, an under 18 uh, ice hockey team. Physics has been offered at Cape Fear Academy, but now is a graduation requirement. How do you think students will benefit from having this be a required course? Even if a student doesn't uh, go off in college and study STEM or doesn't go to college at all, uh, having physics is going to benefit them because of the way it helps you develop uh, in terms of thinking, critical thinking, creative thinking, be able to be an adaptive thinker. All right, that's really the value of physics. Of course, know the fundamental laws of nature. You traveled to France this summer. Did you have a chance to take a selfie with the Eiffel Tower? Oh, mon ami, it was great to have lots of selfies with the uh, <laughs> Eiffel Tower. But, uh, you yeah, know, the best part of that trip was really the time I spent at, uh, in Normandy. It's a humbling experience. Uh, it certainly makes you proud to be an American. What is a random fact about yourself that would surprise people who didn't know you? My birthday is on March 4th. What better day for a soldier's birthday? March 4th. All right, last question. What is something new and exciting going on in upper school physics this year? Well, uh, today, in fact, we uh, received a pallet of uh, great uh, uh, equipment. We are going to do a lot of hands-on. We're going to be able to see the physics in action. Well, thanks for your time. We're excited to have you here this year. Um, it is great to be here at Cape Fear Academy. Thank you.